Hello there, uh, this is Bao Nguyen, one of the author of Neurology, Pocketbook.com. I'm here with you to walk you through one of our book chapter. This is a chronic inflammatory demyelinating polyneuropathy, or CIDP. Here are the authors, including me and Dr. Kalia. Thanks, Dr. Fiza Fahim, for editing my draft before it was published. And this is the table of content. And as you scroll down, this is the introduction section. Uh, we put all the take home points into this section. So if you don't have the time, just read the instructions and then you're good to go. Then we cover some basic stuff uh, of any kind of disorder, epidemiology, etiology, and pathophysiology. In the clinical features sections, if you don't know typical CIDP occupy the majority cases of CIDP, so in this session, as well as in the, our chapter, we mainly focus on the subtype. Here we list some signs and symptoms that patients with CIDP may present in your clinic. We talk a little bit about uh, CIDP variants, just to give you a taste of what they really are. In the diagnostic evaluations, we discussed uh, when to do a particular test and their value in diagnosing uh, CIDP. You can see lumbar puncture, EMG, a bow, uh, lab test, neuroimaging, so on and so forth. In diagnosis sections, we provide you a step-by-step -step diagnostic approach according to the European Federations of Neurological Societies slash Peripheral Nerve Societies. This is step one, uh, step two, and step three. Uh, again, we mainly focus on typical CIDP. If you want to read more about other variants, uh, you can read the guideline. Uh, we put the link down below in the further reading session. Here's the differential diagnosis. And in the management, IV, IG, uh, plasma exchange, and glucocorticoids form a trifecta for um, CIDP management. In some cases, we also give Im immunosuppressive agents. We talk a little bit right here. Uh, SCIDP is a chronic disorder. A follow-up plan is a must. So we, here we provide you some tools which you can objectively assess your patients throughout their treatment course. If you're interested in this skill, you can click on this link and that will bring you to the website showing you how to score your patient's symptoms. And we wrap up our chapter with prognosis. Here are articles which we recommend you to read if you still interested in CIDP and you want to know more about that and this is a list of references. I want to leave you three notes. First is that in the table content, if you only want to read about the clinical features, for example, you can make a left click and there you go. Uh, the website will bring you directly to the clinical features section. And second, we are fallible human and um, our mistakes are unavoidable. Any suggestions or corrections are more than welcome. You can send me messages uh, via my LinkedIn account by clicking on my name right here, or you can go to the author's panel and look for my names. And I think I put my email address in my bio. And lastly, our platform doesn't provide every single details of any kind of topic, but I think that my chapter and as well as other chapters in this website are great starting points from which you can explore all the reliable sources for your topic you interested in. So I think that's it. Uh, thank you for watching and I see you in the next video.